White supremacist propaganda growing at an explosive rate in the U.S. That is according to a new report from the Anti-Defamation League just out this week. The ADL is reporting the most incidents of white supremacist propaganda distri distributions they have ever seen and that the number doubled between 2018 and 2019. Sarah Seidner has more on the story. Sarah, what are we learning about this? Don, this is as much about trying to mainstream racist rhetoric as it is about trying to grow their ranks and recruit. These are the mechanics of hate, a promotional video made by a white nationalist group as it spreads its propaganda. We saw white supremacist propaganda distributions last year in 49 states. According to the Anti-Defamation League's new report, in 2019, white nationalist or supremacist propaganda exploded across the United States. The ADL has been tracking extremists for decades and decades. And this year was the highest number of propaganda distributions we have ever seen in our 100-year history. ADL CEO Jonathan Greenblatt says their report found incidents of white nationalist or supremacist groups putting up flyers, stickers, banners, and posters in public places has more than doubled from just over 1,200 in 2018 to more than 2,700 in 2019. I think there's a charged political environment and they're trying to capitalize on the division that is so pervasive throughout society. You've seen elected officials literally adopting some of their language, using their memes, and injecting their poison into the political conversation. Last year, the president of the United States attacked progressive congresswomen of color, tweeting, why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came? If you're not happy here, you can leave. Even though, Three of them were born in the United States, and the fourth is a naturalized citizen. Online, white supremacists praised the president's comments, one saying, this is the kind of white nationalism we elected him for. The propaganda is often made to look innocuous, but there is often a website associated with it that leads you to the true hate-filled intentions of the group. The messaging has shown up in many forms, from banners being dropped in public places to stickers outside a politician's office to posters on college campuses. Last year, we visited Chapman University in Orange County, California, after white nationalist stickers were pasted over school flyers about an educational project exploring immigration and borders. They're flying all over the country. They do this uh, on college campuses quite a bit. They really focus on college campuses. Chapman University associate professor uh, Dr. Peter Simi has studied hate groups for decades, even living with members of the groups to get deeper insight. He says the groups are working to intimidate groups of people they hate and entice like-minded people to join their ranks. Patriot Front is one of the groups spreading large amounts of propaganda. At times, its members come out from behind their computer keyboards and onto the streets with their hate-filled message. Its public gatherings are not widely publicized. They're over quickly, but give enough time to create videos aimed at promoting their anti-immigrant racist agenda. We don't see any signs that this extremist activity is going to slow down. Victory! Case in point, the video you're seeing, the white nationalist group uploaded this month to highlight their small masked march through the nation's capital. Yep, that happened in 2020 in the nation's capital. About 100 or so masked men in a group that says things like deport them all, yelling reclaim America. And experts who track this kind of rhetoric say that 2020 is ripe for more of this kind of rhetoric, not less. 